Hi everyone, so I have a day off today, so it's given me a chance to do a few more demos. Um, so this is going to be how I do the AI render. For the add-on, I use the Benrug AI render. So you can always check here for the latest releases. So basically the add-on for Blender, the method is going to be generally the same for most add-ons so you would download so this one I have I believe I have six nine you just download this then when you go into blender all right so you would go to edit then you go to preferences and then you go to add-ons then you would click the install and you would install the add-on I'm not going to do that because I've already gone through the process and I've installed the one when you go when you click install it will actually take you through the process and then after you install it you can come here and search so if I search um let's see all right so for example here this is the one I have so you'll see there's also a stability um, for Blender, that's the one for Stable Diffusion. That's not the one I, I used. So I'm in Blender at the moment. So I've set up the character. I've imported the character that I want. Um, so it's just from File, Import, and then I selected the FBX because it's a Mixamo animation. All right. So the first thing I am going to set it up. Okay. So I'm first going to go to the viewport shading. So I render. Okay, and then I am going to change the number of frames. I'm going to put it to 30. So one thing to note, this does use credits with uh, Dream Studio. Okay, so, and also I've noticed the more credits that you put, sometimes it doesn't uh, finish the animation. Okay, uh, so now let me set the camera view so that's a control alt and then num number pad zero okay i'm gonna keep it like that for a minute because i'm gonna adjust it again so we go here to the render properties and then i'm going to enable ai render okay so now that i scroll down you'll see it has come up. All right, so you have to actually select the image size. I'm going to go with the um, 512 by 512. So now this is where I'm going to adjust the camera now. So I'm going to select the camera. I'm going to press G, and then we'll do Z once. Because I want to try and shift this image just a bit. OK. And then set again because now I want to zoom. Okay. All right. Uh, let me just let me see. Maybe I'm gonna adjust it just a little bit more. Okay. There. To be in the center. All right. So now we can input a prompt um i'd like to put a prompt uh, just to give some guidance because what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to get it to be in color and with uh outfit because right now it's just uh a gray type so i want to use this ai render to actually give it uh some color and information okay so i wrote a prompt here i will pick this first prompt uh, I'm going to read the second. Okay, let's try the second. So, I'm going to copy that. Go back to Blender. And then I paste it here where it says prompt. I'm going to paste it in there. So, my prompt there was a Roomba dancer with curly brown hair, white eyes, round nose, and full lips. She is wearing a green dress realistic so the next thing you can also do is you can actually pick a preset style 
so I like this one already it's a, a project but if you wanted to change it you just have to click and you'll see it comes up uh, with different ones that you, you can select so I'm going to keep the one that was already there so I'm just going to click out of here and then now we will go to advanced options and here what I want to do is I want to change the image similarity I want to make it a bit higher okay so if you see here it'll, so how so image similarity how closely the final image will match the initial rendered image all right so values around 0.1 to 0.4 will turn simple renders into new creations around 0.5 will keep a lot of the composition and transform it into something like the prompt okay and then 0.6 to 0.7 keeps things more stable so higher values may require more steps for best results okay and you can set it to zero to use only the prompt so i want it to be quite similar because i'm just trying to add the render itself to the existing so i'm going to make it 0.7 so 0 0.7 Okay. All right. So then next, after doing that, I want to go to the animation. All right. So before we render, um, I want to select the path where to save it. So what's going to happen is when it does the images, it's going to be like um, lots of PNG files, which are the like they come together to make the animation so you gotta save them somewhere so i'm gonna click here to open a path okay so i've selected a path where i want to save it so now we can actually do the render so i just click here render animation and we will let it do its thing Okay, so that was it.